What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Shill Tank. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy! Who, 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 who? Be Roots, your co host of today's Shill Tank. Where you at, Ian? You alright, man? You over here shadow boxing? <laughs> you already know, man. What's going on, everyone? We or am I just wrecked? Oh, right you were super wrecked. I thought we were doing like a duet. <laughs> oh boy! All right, beards. Ian, you there? Because I can't hear shit. All right. Um, can anyone hear oh, me? Shit. All right, beards drop down. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Shill Tank. We are searching for thousand X gems. If you guys are new to this show, this is the original. The only crypto shark tank that finds 1,000x gems on a consistent basis. We are searching today, even though all coins have taken a little bit of a backseat, but Bitcoin and Ethereum are absolutely smashing it, and they are looking super bullish, and an altcoin season could be around the corner at any time. A few rules to pitch your project today if you are new to the shill tank. First rule. You must follow the Sharks, which is myself and B. Roots. B. Roots, can you hear me? I can, but I'm a speaker, okay. not a co-host. There you go. Okay. All right, let's fix that. All right, B. Roots is back. So the rules to pitch on today's show, follow the Sharks. Second rule, retweet the space. Guys, if you're in here pitching, you should be smashing the retweet, telling the people in the Telegram. More people in here, the more people will hear your project get pitched today. Third rule, request to speak. And you will have a three-minute slot to pitch your project, make it good, because if it's not good, we ain't got no time to waste. We are in a bull market, and we will cut you off, and we'll send you pack in. And if it's amazing and we need more information, we might let you go a little bit longer. With that said, I want to preference by saying that all the projects that come up and pitch today, we have not vetted. So do your own research. Formulate your own opinion on all the projects. This is not financial advice, and you guys need to buy, sell, Invest at your own discretion. Don't just take our opinion. With that being said, Moon King is back from being rugged. We, I thought we were doing a duet, Moon King, because I was talking and then you came and I thought we were going back and forth, but you just couldn't hear me. So, Moon King B. Roots. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Over here just waiting to find the next thousand X. Man, yeah, man. Got some people coming up here and I'm excited to see if I can find somebody. Somebody. Give me the next wealth coin. Don't give me these little 10,000 market cap with no volume. Nobody wants to hear that shit. So if you're in there, you got like this that super low market cap coin that no one knows about, no one cares about, please step down. But if you have something good, something fresh, something that a, a nice narrative, we want to hear you because we found many. 100x's, 1,000x's, 34,000 x's on Shell Tank. We just need to hear the right pitch, the right coin, the right narrative, the right tokenomics. And I just might get in. Absolutely, man. I have my wallets loaded, ledger out, ready to go to buy anything that screams buy me. And so, guys, we're just looking for pure alpha. Don't waste your time. Don't waste our time because we will wreck you if it's garbage. With that being said... It is time to bring up today's first contestant on... Let's see. Get the music going on here. Get that music. Get that music. All right. Let's see. Who's got the alpha? Not that fake alpha. We, we need the... All right. All right. Looking through some profiles. Guys, if you've already pitched on our show, you're only going to get one minute, and it's just a quick update. You better have an update. If you're just showing the same thing, and the project isn't moving. All right, let's go ahead and bring up, I saw this guy first, Crypto Brian. Brian, you are today's first contestant on Shield Tank. Make me. Bring us the alpha. 
What you got for us? Hey, how's it going? I'm on. You're on. What you got? Great, yeah, so I have got the founder's cat meme on the main net. So I've got Hemuel on ETH, which is the Buterin family cat, launched two months ago. So all of the early KOL dev fuckery that you see at the start of coins is over. Today, $400,000 of volume, and we're sitting above a $2 million market cap. This thing has pumped about 2x in the last uh, week or so. And the story behind it is very clean. So the devs basically sent annual tokens to Vitalik's wallet. Vitalik approved the contract, traded it to do a charity donation, exactly like he did with SHIB um, back before it moved in 2021. Since the launch, um, some of the biggest KOLs in the space have been buying in. So we've got Rookie XPT, uh, Whale and Dino, uh, Murtaza Sats. So they've all bought in organically, absolutely no paid shills or anything, anything going on here. And it's community led. So you've got people from TradFi like me, you've got crypto and DeFi OGs, project owners. We're hosting regular X spaces, regular Telegram VCs. But the key thing for me personally when I bought into this coin was the fact that Vitalik had actually taken the time to approve, audit the contract, trade it. So it means to me, it means it's a safe project. Um, he's obviously been soft shilling the coin, so he's been putting out blog posts with pictures of the cat. Um, he's been putting out tweets with meow, meow, meow written in Chinese, um, which finally actually led to the creation of some pump and duck coin that everybody went into. They completely missed the alpha. The alpha was the fact he posted a picture of Hemuel on his blog, an hour later posted that tweet. He is warming up to memes. So he tweeted Archic, apologizing for calling um, Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic Inu, whatever it was, uh, I think he called it a scam coin in that same blog, reached back out to her, apologized, and said he's warming up to memes. So. Founders pet coin, ultimate founders pet coin on the ultimate chain, sitting under 3 million market cap, two months old, legendary team. That's what I've got. Yeah. Um, you guys came and pitched on the show before someone's community. I don't remember when this coin came out, you know. I mean, it could be, you know, what comes to mind is Dinger, right? That coin was Elon Musk cat, that thing was sent. Um, you know, you have this scammy dev. I guess it's a community takeover. We are not very fond of hearing that just because we haven't seen it really be successful this bull market. So um, I don't like that. Well, Toshi? Toshi? What's that? Toshi? That's an example. And by the way, the, the, dev, is still, the dev is still in the background. So the debt is actually still around. But what did he do? He sold his tokens. Oh, I have no clue. We we just we're in contact with them. They you know they they make updates whenever we want them to make updates. I don't really care what they did with the tokens early. Look to me, if the narrative is strong enough, it doesn't matter what goes on with the dev at the early stages of a project. Well, it does. Low key rug. It does matter because you know you could see a community takeover, but if the dev straight dumps the coin and it just looks like a horrible chart it's going to be more tough but you're right if it does have a good narrative um you know it could get picked back up but it's definitely a challenge i mean look at the fud just from grok that thing was going to half a billion dollar mark cap you had old boy zach xpt fud it over something stupid and it kind of killed the momentum so it can kill momentum but um you guys are up from here we're seeing ETH kind of turn a corner now. Obviously, it hit 3K today. You're seeing a lot of the Solana bros back over uh, to ETH. And, you know, is this the cat token of the bull run? It could be. So, I, I have it on my watch list. I will. It will remain on my watch list. And uh, that's all I got. B-Roots? Yeah. Um, it's actually a good narrative. Um, we're probably going to start slaying away from dev selling so early because we're actually in the bull market so i think that was a 
time and period of disbelief, even within devs, that we didn't believe that we we're going to be in a bull market, didn't believe that the ETF was going to happen. So maybe community takeovers start happening. Um, there's no guarantee, but you know, you're actually holding, so it's not bad. You're actually, well, let me say, you're not holding because you just hit resistance at that three mil market cap. Um, so that that's that's the resistance. You get past that, you could do something with it. But right now, you just got denied from the most obvious area that you've been having trouble with since uh, December, late December. So um, it's not bad. Let me look at the wallets real quick. Wallet holders going up a little bit. You know, wallets look good. The only issue is I don't know how many wallets the freaking dev owns and all like that. For like, I haven't done my research on it. It's going to be hard to do that now. Uh, but if if Vitalik takes this to the next level. I think that's enough to do an official community takeover. If Vitalik stops, this thing is, in my opinion, kind of dies down. So it's all relative to Vitalik, and it sounds like he is taking he is taking it to heart. Um, the one thing I don't like a cat coin, a dog coin, and you're already at like you've already hit a penny. So it's I I don't like seeing that with meme coins because token bias is a real thing and zero zero two three is is just so low as many coins you get a penny like you only have so much and I'm not a big fan of that with supplies um, I like to see a minimum of um, a trillion tokens. You know, maybe a half a billion, like half a trillion, things like that. Because there's more zeros, there's more, that, that's been the, the meme culture since Dogecoin. So, um, that's probably the only thing I don't like. If Vitalik wasn't interacting with it, I would say move on. But because Vitalik is interacting with it, that gives me to put this on a watch list and really watch it. Um, so then my only downside would be the amount of coins is, is a little too low. So, you know, a dollar, a dollar is, let's see here, a dollar is point zero zero two three seven one, probably like 400 something X. Yeah, 421 X. So we got 421 X from a $2 million market cap is a, is not even a billion dollar market cap. I mean, you're already at a dollar. So it's like, is there coin? Is a meme coin going to go to ten dollars? Like you just never seen it happen before because of the supply. So that's my only downside with it is that, and then uh, you know, the Vitalik thing has to continue. Not bad on my watch list. Uh, there's not many cat coins on my watch list, so I'm checking it out. Well, I guys appreciate the time. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the, the chart definitely looks bottomed out, but... Needs a well, break. it's not bottomed out. It's, gonna, it's probably going to go down from here. Or flag, at least flag out. The best case scenario is going to flag out from here. Because it definitely hit resistance and got declined. So, Alright, who's next here? <laughs> yeah, we going up there today. A lot of people coming through. Let's bring up Lucas Boy. Lucas, let's go. Is he following you? Uh, let me find him. Lucas Boy. Yes, he is. I'll bring him up. Alright. What's up, B-Rude? What's up, B-Rude? Can you hear me? Lucas! What's up? 
Yo, I don't know if you remember me when I came on about two weeks ago and I showed uh, Achi. Yeah. I remember yeah, that. Uh, would you be able to allow um, Achi Token, he's uh, he's requested to speak, could you um, let them bring up and, and talk about Achi? Well, we're only going to give him one minute push because we can't be pitching the same stuff. Nah, it's we good, we've got, we got a lot of stuff to push. talk about. We need a one minute update. Yeah, give one minute. <laughs> nah, it's good, thank you. Yep. Achi. I actually got that horrible uh, source. Hello, hello. Am I, am I up? Yep. Yeah, you got one minute. Um, all right, I'll try to make this quick. Um, so I know Lucas filled it two weeks ago. Uh, simply put, it's a community takeover relaunch. Uh, so tokenomics are evenly distributed. Previous dev loved the project, so we did a relaunch and airdropped the old community. About 60% or 65% of supply. Uh, we got 5% for marketing and 10% uh, that's uh, locked for the initial seed. Um, we believe it's a strong narrative in the game because uh, we are a, I don't want to call it a beta play, but we're here to build with with. So if anyone here knows what Dog with Hat is, we believe that's going to be the next meme to hit billions. The Dog with Hat already being pushed by other KOLs. You have big people in the crypto space tweeting about with hat, or you know, with hat on, hat off. Um, you know, phase one, we're here to build a community. It's pretty strong, sitting at 200k market cap. So if you want a thousand x, this is a good chance to do so. Um, we have marketing planned and lined up with other, uh, being very selective with KOLs, who we're going to bring on board to, to really push it with us. Um, and we have a pretty good. A uh, pretty solid team with experience. A lot of us here have been a part of other projects. We've built in Web3. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's a project that we feel like has a strong narrative. And um, just give us a follow, and hopefully you guys can learn more about it. So, why is this coin bullish? Like, isn't Dog with Hat the one that's the popular one that's at $342 million mark cap? You only gave me a minute, so that's why I had to be quick there. Um, so essentially, if you guys know who uh, Borovic is, ETH.ETH, he posted the original poster of Dog with Cat, the, the actual person that made it mainstream. Issa was not the one that made it mainstream. So original post was posted back in 2018. Issa posted it, started showing Dog with Hat meme in 2019, and obviously Dog with Hat became part of crypto culture in end of 2023. And we essentially had a Satoshi moment. Um, I know it sounds crazy, but, you know, if you don't hear no Satoshi and the Bitcoin culture, you, know, you think about the mascot of Bitcoin. It's, it's the old Japanese guy. And that's Dorian Nakamoto. All right. I'm going to cut it off just because you're going to get a one minute. And I just asked kind of a simple question. I don't really want to go too far into it. Listen, this is what I'm going to feel, and then I guess Ian can do his part, because I, I need to get this out. Dog with Hat literally has 45,000 holders, $344 million market cap, and when they tweet, they minimally get 800 likes on their posts. There is no overtaking that. <laughs> like, that thing is long gone, bro. So I'm, I ain't going to say, like, it's not the original and all this and all that. I get it. I hear where you're coming from. But this thing is way too long gone to, like, even take any type of community. Like, this thing's got $6 million in liquidity. Like, yeah. I'm about to pass on this one because Dog With Hat is just the clear winner. Yeah. yeah, I I do think, you know, looking at the website, you can see that, you know, whoever created it called it Achi, which could be a decent narrative. I think it could do some gains, but you guys came on two weeks ago, and if I'm looking at the right chart, it's only sitting at, you know, 200, 200K market cap. And I feel like with Solana, those things just pump. Like, they go. There's a lot of pump and dumps on there, but there is opportunity for fast gains. So you guys have been slowly growing um if i'm looking at the right um chart but 
Yeah, it's going to be tough, man. I think you can get do some gains, but you know, to take over that community, it's such a strong movement at this part to come and tell them that they're wrong and it's actually called Achi. That's going to be tough. So, yeah. um, but we appreciate it. Happen. That's like going around throwing shiv, like like the shiv ain't gonna pump because like that's just gone. Like you ain't catching that bad boy. So <laughs> it's always it goes that far. Yeah, yeah. there's no stopping. <laughs> Like, if they came out when Dog With Hat was at, like, 20 mil, 15 mil, and that thing just started... Yeah, it, 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 that's the thing, man. First mover. When you get that first mover and it just goes, it's not even, it's not even no, it's no point. No point. But I wish them luck, man. I wish them luck. Just, just... I mean, you can do something. But... <laughs> Uh, let's see here. It's my pick or yours? That was my pick. That's your pick. All right. Let's bring up Danny S. Danny Spencer. Oh, wait. Hold up. He's not following me. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's bring up. Let's bring up this phantom guy. Okay. Well, like, yeah, but issues. Yo, Phantom. Are you there? I don't think it is. It's just a connect, disconnect on time to go out. There you go. Hello, hello. Y'all hear me? Yo. What, what's good? There it is. Yeah, my back can hear you the first time. All right. Um, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it short and simple. I'm very picky when I show things at this point, unless I'm, like, part of the team. And I'm not even part of the team for this one. I aped at, like, around the price we're sitting at right now. But I'm telling you guys, Giga Chad is long-term alpha. There's certain things I can tell you, certain things I can't tell you. What I can tell you is they haven't spent a penny on regular CT marketing and went to 2.2 million organic. I can tell you that Giga Chad is one of the most... Famous memes right now that survived the test of time. I can tell you that there's been a hundred of them that launched, but everyone's kind of waiting. And me personally, I was waiting for one that does it right because whoever does it right, it's just going to go stupid. Um, they're paying for things behind the scenes, setting up a foundation for a massive run in the bull run. They spent a good amount of money to buy the at Giga Chad handle. I can get them to come hop in this VC right now as Giga Chad that they're shilling to normies by replying to Trump tweets, by replying to Tate tweets, building up a normie base on the at Giga Chad handle. There are talks with the TikTok and IG handles as well. Um, those are going to be harder to buy because they have a really big following, but they might do marketing there. This is like super alpha shit, I'm telling you. No one knows about Giga Chad. It's been slow mooning. They've been going at it for 40 days. Um, the people running it got money and they have people, they have friends who got money. And, okay, I'm going I'm to stop there. I don't want to say too much because there's certain things that haven't been revealed yet. But I'm, I promise you guys, do not fade Giga Chad. I'm actually super bullish on it. I'm not even part of the team. My bag is not even that fat. But I feel like I caught the next Pepe. They're setting up a foundation. They're very patient. They know they can go to 10 mil plus right now. KOLs have been aping. They're foaming at the mouth to, uh, to call it. I'm getting DMs being like, yo, get me in talks with the team. Do they give allocation? The team is refusing to give anyone allocation because they know what the space is. Um, it's going to be bigger than Doge, bro. I'm super bullish. Check out Giga Chad. Follow at Giga Chad on Twitter. That's about it. There's so many Giga Chads. Which is the right Giga Chad? <laughs> Go search, search Giga Chad. It's sitting at like 1.2 mil right now on Solana. Um I'm telling you, bro, I know there's been so many Giga Chads. I've been waiting for one to do it right. I've been researching these guys. I talked to, to the team one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I've been following them for a few days now. And I'm involved in some of their 
they're, they're having one-on-one -on -one talks. Anybody that's interested, any influencers here that are interested in talking to the team one-on-one, -on -one, they will shill you directly and tell you stuff that they're doing behind the scenes that the community doesn't know about. And they also locked in a deal with um, an influencer uh, today that like loves the vision. He sees the vision. The one thing he said is like, the one thing I don't like is I wish I didn't see it earlier. Mm. Mm. So many Chad coins. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. This is so uh, many Chad coins. I know it's gonna take the. There's, there was so many Pepe's. There were so many Pepe's until the first people who did it right. I mean, that was like Super Insider also, and they kind of artificially pumped it before the normies caught on. But I'm telling you, bro, I've been waiting for the one team who does it right, and these guys are setting up a massive foundation. There's, there's a. I didn't want to say this on spaces, but there's a good amount of supply already. They're shilling to the normies. The normies are already buying before CT is. The normies are holding the floor. They don't check chart. I mean, the normies aren't even in crypto yet, man. I'm yeah, I'm like you, the normies. Like, how you get? No, no, no. I'm telling you, bro. There's a, there's a. <laughs> I don't want to say how much, but the people running the project, they have money and they have friends with money who are throwing money at Giga Chad, and they're not even. They don't watch the chart. They ask yeah. weeks later, like, yo, what's up with that one coin you told me to buy? It's so easy to show the normies. Uh, what are you thinking? Um, <laughs> <laughs> a few things, man. Like, you know, I mean, Giga Chad is not a bad meme at all, but it's been done, you know, so many times. But you're right, Pepe was done so many times. But unless you guys have, like, VCs ready to send this thing and get people FOMOing, the website, to me, looks like... It, the beginning of it just looks kind of scammy. Like, and I'm not saying it is, but like when I see like a website like this, I'm kind of like, eh. And you know, I like more of a simple. You know, you got to scroll all the way down, and I get it. It's a bunch of memes that people can use, but um, you know, I just don't see anything that really stands out. So unless I like heard some crazy alpha about this and basically the only thing i could really hear that would get me super excited is if you're like hey vcs are gonna pump this thing <laughs> but i don't know man um let's see the twitter real quick um yeah go look at their content they've been loading up you got crypto messiah following it look at giga chad in the point. tg yeah he joined the he joined the spaces go look at his channel tell me that tell me that branding isn't on point go look at the at the normies are eating that shit up. People. I mean, I know the branding, but the brand. This branding has been done for hundreds of coins. Not even Giga Chad. Just like so many coins. So it's nothing super unique to me. But I don't know, man. You you could probably get some gains on this, and some people already have. It has good liquidity for a Solana project. I'll give it that. Like a lot better than I see on most projects with Solana. Um, volume's a little low, but we're kind of having just a slower day. It is holding above that one mil market cap. So just unbiasedly looking at the chart, it doesn't look bad. Like it looks like it's going to probably do some gains from here. So, um, I don't know. I, I guess I'll put it on my watch list just to keep an eye and see what it does, but I don't think I'll be buying yeah, that's fine. That's all I could ask for. Just keep an eye on it. Um, the team is very patient. They they know they could send it to 10 mil plus right now if they wanted to. They're choosing not to because they know if you go up too quick, you'll drop down just as fast. Um, but no one's... Uh, there's a, there's another really good point I was going to say. But that's fine, bro. Just keep an eye on it. But I'm telling you, like I feel it in my balls that this is, this is it. And, oh yeah, this is what I was going to say. There are major KOLs that have bags in this that I've shilled to, and they like it. They see the potential. They see the branding, and they want to call it, but the team doesn't want to give them allocation. So now what they're starting to do is they're having a – they're forced to kind of work for their bags for once, which a lot of CTs don't do anymore, and they, they need to get paid to call something. And you'll notice people are starting to say the word giga here and there when they didn't before. I don't want to say who specifically, but there's certain people – that are like, oh, what's the next Giga Pump? Yo, you guys, this person's a Giga Chad. Like, just notice, they read between the lines. There are people, Ansem, Ansem specifically said Giga Chad four times in the past 24 hours a couple days ago. I'm not going to say any other names, but I'm, people got bags, and they want to call it. All right, Beards, what you got? 
I mean, it's tough just because I've heard it so many times, and uh, I don't know if I can ape in something just because someone else fills in their balls. So I don't know if I can. <laughs> 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 I, don't if I, can I don't know if I can man up to do that. <laughs> if that's even manning up, I guess. <laughs> no, all seriousness. Um, just looking at what it is, you know, liquidity needs to be thicker. Not really, but I mean, it's okay. It's not bad. Um, I just heard. I just heard this so many times. So, like, is this the one? Like, I don't know. They're probably just waiting for the right time to pump it because of the markets, realistically. Because Solana is just trash right now. So, like, it's it's a watch list coin. But once again, man, like these guys struggle to know the mean market, the mean coin market. More zeros, more zeros, more zeros. Yeah, I mean, it's always going to be a tough sell on us with Solana just because, you know, it's not really our thing. But there are some gains to be made. You know, Giga is catchy. Obviously, Giga Chad is a good meme. But um, is it just another copycat LARP that you get some gains? Or is this a... A Pepe type run that <laughs> comes out of nowhere. You're gonna need some backing for that, but um, that's why it's on the watch list. So thanks for coming up, man. <clears throat> All right, B. Who do you got next? Dang! Dang! Let's see here. Lizard lips, maybe L one token, L one token. Let's do a uh, lizard lips. Lizard lips. <laughs> Trying to find them. I got it. So I can't make it. I got it. I would take a like I'm running from the cops and put these big ass niggas. How y'all doing? I'm the cool shit. I'm the cool shit. Yeah, Adam. Yeah, Adam. I can't find it. I don't need some shit. I'm the shit. No, I'm pollution. No substitution. I love it. That paint your movies and hot your tools. It puts it deep in. I would never stop. Well, let's say he's changed his name. Bite Fire now. I don't fucking y'all changing your names and all that shit. Oh. Hello, hello. What's up, man? How we doing? Thanks for having me up. Uh, just a quick thing I want to say to you guys. You guys have access to Grok on X? Yes. Yep. If you guys could just do me a favor, anybody listening, just do me a favor. All right, everybody's got the best narrative. Everybody's got the best community. Yada, yada, yada. Get on Grok and ask Grok yourself. Type Elon's AI dog. That's all you need to do. Oh, okay. to speak to <laughs> That's all I'm going to do. That's all I got to say. Thank you for having me on. Appreciate it, man. I thought he was going to get this. I thought he was going to get something else. I was looking at that L1 token in your profile. But I guess I didn't realize. Everybody knows it's bite. <laughs> Let's see where's bite at. Bite is sitting oh. at a nine point three mil market cap. That's a big down. That 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 created a lower low. Mm, that's on the four hour. Let me look, let me be fair. Be on the daily. No, on the lower low. Yeah, lower low. <laughs> But hey, man, this, this it could be a it could be a double bottle, so it's not official yet. But and and this this is the type of coin though that you hold, and if all of a sudden Elon says, "Hey, bites my AI dog" or anything like that, or you know, which is highly, which is totally possible, you know, this could be a lottery ticket. However, that's yeah, a high lottery ticket. For me. It's a high lottery ticket sitting at a nine point three mil, which isn't actually that high of a market cap, but if you're looking for, because, you know, realistically, if Elon tweets about it, it's probably going to 50 mil. So it's a 5X. And, uh, yeah. It's not bad, but I think it is coming down to, 
It already created a lower low on the daily. It doesn't have that many magnets left. And it won't come down that much further, to be honest with you, unless it's over. But, you know, anywhere from 8 to 10 mil, Mark Cap is a nice buy. The only problem is you just broke, you just broke some, like, a trend line and lower lows, so... I'm still going to keep this on my watch list. But strong, strong, strong community. If that run up, that run up to 30 mil, uh, a lot of people sold that off big time. Big time. That went to 30 mil and quick. Whoop. <sighs> yeah. It, it went to 30 mil to down to 15 mil, literally, in, <laughs> in one day. Like, it hit and it just said... So, yeah. psychological number. And, um, yeah, I've had it on my watch list as well, so it'll just stay on there. Thanks for coming up, though, man. All right, let's see. Smash some emojis, guys. Who has the newest, freshest coin with all the alpha? Give us something original. Give me something Give I want to say. Fresh. Buy me now. I want to ate something today. Life is such a fucking roller. Life is such a fucking roller. Life is such a fucking roller coaster. Hey, 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 give me the mugs. Hey, let's go. Sick. All right, let's bring up Bull Run Billionaire. Even when my thoughts seem dark, I'm a I'm a coon for P. Garden. Sorry, I was just in the mood right there. I had to let, had to let that go for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm a motherfucking moon from a garden. All right, what you got, man? All right, this is a, an update. So I bought this to you guys about a year ago, uh, and I'm glad that I held this token, but I'll let you get a chance to grab the chart. <clears throat> Proof of alien.life, all one word on Dex Tools. So if anyone remembers me from a year ago, uh, this is a thing of a ring doorbell that is professionally engineered to sit on top of your house and help with collection of <clears throat> aerial phenomenon. So real engineers behind it, a real U.S. based company. Uh, it's about 18 months old at this point, and it's went <clears throat> around 50k, I think, when I brought it to you guys last year. And the recent I might have out, some still. You might have some still. And I hope you do. Yeah, so, I remember this. Yeah, I think yeah, I, I feel like I bought it, but I don't know if I sold. I have no idea. I, like, I, I hope you do because the uh, they just started announcing that VCs are buying up the floor. Which is why you can see it's up at five million market cap right now, holding pretty strong. Um, only about five hundred people in the community know about this thing at the moment. The next phase is coming is a rebrand. So life is going to become Sky S K E Y E, like I, and Sky paired together. And they're releasing the official beta product next month. The final engineering production is going on right now. That'll roll into a Kickstarter campaign to fund three to four million dollars. Uh, somewhere around there, some will be funded by the team to take this to mass market. Uh, they're, they're, it's kind of falling in the category of the deep end, which is newer for myself, so I won't speak too much on it. But in simple terms, it's combining DeFi with physical infrastructure. So they're going to have a physical product people can interact with. You can earn uh, passive income from the cameras if you capture aerial phenomenon, right? It could be chemtrails. It could be weird planes. Just cool things, people of interest. Um, are kind of centering around this community. They're, we're getting a lot of the uh, you know alien and extraterrestrial communities kind of joining in here, but a lot of people aren't aware of the token, and I think it's going to be a pretty big runner this bull cycle, and just want to come back and give you guys an update after a year. It's good to see, man. Um, I stuck with it. It's a good job. Kudos there. Um, My, my question looks good. It, it looks good, but that volume is super low. Yeah, it just, it like, just, if you guys are following dubs at all, uh, it's the same main developer, KCON, Kyle McConnell. He's behind both of these. Uh, that's at $55 million market cap. He's been on Fox Business News like six times with that project. I expect the same will follow this. So you can see a strong holder 
uh, PAC that's behind this project knowing that KCON delivers every time he does something. And I would just say, put it on your radar, grab a little bag, I, I put money out, this goes past the B mark. So how do you catch phenomenons? Is it just by chance? Like, is this thing... Yeah, so it's got a... It's, it's AI and an actual engineer. So it's got infrared, multiple cameras built into it. It's designed for this exact purpose, which Connor, who's on the team, is an engineer. He's, he's built this over the last 18 months. Like, you can come into the chat and see pictures of it all, what the actual final product looks like, <clears throat> the failures they went through building it and everything. It sits on your roof or wherever you want to put it that can see the sky. It tracks motion and can zoom in and will basically can tell if it's an airplane. I don't care about it. The AI decides based on its training model what's important or interesting and what isn't. And same thing if you know someone asks the question if you know twenty birds fly over my house and like does it detect the batch of them or does it detect twenty objects? It will understand all twenty of them and can track their independent motions. Then decide if it's something of interest or not. So it's. You know, it's a newer concept. Uh, it's kind of stepping into the bleeding in of <clears throat> what you might think is a meme because it's about aliens. Uh, you'd be surprised how big that community is out there in the space. And also with the recent news, uh, if you look at the chart, there's one point when it went to like 2 million out of nowhere. That was simply because the aerial phenomenons last year <laughs> with the stuff flying over the U.S. guys. Um, and people were like, oh, this narrative is going to blow up. And then it died off. And it stuck at its you know, market cap for a long time. We've been anticipating next month coming for a while now. And over this last weekend, uh, KCON kind of dropped it. All these buys came in and no one was selling. And everyone was like, what's going on? Uh, and if you look at some of the wallets that, that bought in, they're VCs. Uh, like there's like two or three of them in there. Um, little tech companies, but they're expecting more news to come by the end of this month. So LP unlocks. Once the LP unlocks, they're going to migrate to Sky and they're going to dump tons of money into the Kickstarter campaign the marketing about the product and start targeting retail users. So it kind of measures, it kind of measures in with, um, and we're going to take you down, appreciate that. Um, kind of measures up with, uh, with uh, Deepin, just in its own little funky, weird way. Um, Deepin's pretty much, you know, devices and stuff that connects to the blockchain as your ability to earn money based off of, you know, cameras or gadgets that you connect to either your car or the internet or Wi-Fi or however you want to do it. This is just like a weird version of the Deepin sector. Um, and aliens are getting kind of the, it's kind of like the meme coin for the Deepin sector. It's the best way to explain it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I look at it. Uh, it's definitely interesting, and I really hope I still have a bag of it. Which I, I don't think I do. To be honest with you, I think I do. So I'm gonna <laughs> be scouring my old wallets today and checking that out. But um, it looks like so in five days it's gonna unlock. They're gonna migrate to a new new rebrand, basically migrate to a new contract, um, airdrop everyone, and then start this funding campaign and i i know probably one of the vc people let me see real quick and see if i can think of, i can relate him to that because i remember who shilled that to me and let me put in life yeah let's see, let's see more life 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 Yep, there it is. <laughs> no, you saw it. I'm not going to make it. Hold on. <laughs> it's funny. Um, yeah, someone showed this to me. Let's see here. May 9th of 2023. Let's see how much I'll be. I'll be, uh, oh. May 9th of 2023. I'll tell you, I remember this. This is this most random shit, bro. Price was, uh, oh. Five zeros and a four six. So that was. A hundred zero 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 four nine minus point one two three four five. And I say zero six, five six. 
Yeah. Five zeros and a four six. Two, four, five, four, six. So that was. 100 X. One, two, three, four, four, nine, five, six, minus point one, two, three, four, five, four, six. Yeah. Woo! Not bad, man. Not bad. <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely interesting. Imagine if they catch some crazy footage. So I, I wasn't really, I got to do more research. See, how, like, how do you get one on your roof? Like, all that. So that was interesting, man. Good pitch. And uh, yeah, it's just very I'll good up that one on the watch. I'll keep that on the watch list just in case it, you know, people start talking about it and then it goes back down. And that's where you can get that. That's where you can get that nice bag. Yeah. But right now, the little I'm looking for the magnets for those who are subscribers, nine ninety a month, hundred twenty dollars a year. You know what I'm talking about. I'm looking for magnets, and then I will come in. You guys know how to do it. Let's go. All right. Same dog. I'm a, I'm a motherfucking problem. You can't. My turn? Yeah. Yeah. I do what I do, and you do what you can do about it. Let's see here. All I do is all I do is all I do is Bagger Man. Let's bring up Bagger Man. Mm, bagger Man. All right, here we go. Oh, we're, we got a new little signal. We're on fire. 280 people have joined the space. You see a little fire emoji? Yeah, yeah, I saw that new feature. Bagger Man, are you there? Yeah, what's up? What's going on? Oh, no, and I'm here uh, representing the, it's some more Saul stuff, Solana. You know how that came okay. is. But, uh, yeah, we got the woke token. I mean, we're, uh, it's a meme, straight meme play. We're uh, attacking the cancel culture with memes. So we're scouring uh, Twitter and finding stuff that's woke, that's stupid, and we make fun of it because it's funny. So, uh, uh, we're holding the floor about 100K right now. Uh, we've been live for about uh, nine, ten days. And, uh, yeah, we've got a solid floor. We're just trying to build it. It's a grind on Solana, as everybody knows. So, that's what we're doing. Grinding every just day. Just come on over to Post Chain, man. There ain't no grind <laughs> needed. You just make money, bro. Just, just make, make money. money. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, I like I, listen, I, I I like those tokens personally, emotionally. I do not like those tokens investingly wise. They just right. don't do well. I, we've I've seen them on Ethereum, um, and I like to kind of interact and just see what the guy's on. They're good for engagement. Engagement, you're going to get my view. But yeah. as far as money wise, it doesn't transact to money, and it'd be, it's almost like politics. It's like you got a 50-50, and some people believe in it, some people don't, some people like you, some people don't. So it doesn't. it's hard to get the chart to go and move. Right. But I agree with the message. I'm with you 1,000% with the message. Yeah, we try to stay, uh, try to stay kind of away <laughs> from dividing on politics and just to attacking the stupidity that's in this world right now. So, yeah. I hear you. And having fun doing it. Yep. Ian. Yeah, same here, man. I'm all I'm all for the mission, and I think it's it's very memeable. Um, for some reason, they just don't really like moon hard, um, but that doesn't mean it can't happen. So, I like the mission. You know, come to come to the newest, hottest layer one blockchain out right now, and uh, see what could happen. So, that's all I got. All right, appreciate you, man. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.
All right, let's see who we got. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to bring up a few more, more, so let's see who we got. Is it your turn or my turn? It's my turn. I'm just looking. Okay. All right, let's bring up Clown's Next Generator. I, I get it. Hey, what up, clown? What you got for us? <laughs> Hello, everybody, and thank you for inviting me. Yeah, I uh, invited a clown tax generator uh, last summer, last year summer and uh, made this website clowntextgenerator.com and now we are launching a token on Sunday on, on 9 inch and I want to give this information to the people. That's it? <laughs> yeah, no, if you have any questions I can answer you. So the idea is uh, that there are more and more clowns on this planet like yeah, politicians like Gensler and so on. And um, you need to, to make fun of them in a, in a chat. And the easy way is to use uh, this cloud text generator. And you don't need to type the big letter in the lower letter. So that's a easier use case. So I booked this uh, website for the next 10 years. And I think it will be used more and more. And people will get in touch with the token on Porsche. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a tough sell for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it's a a, it's me. a other approach uh, than the other tokens you hear. And uh, yeah, let's see. It's an experiment, a typical nine-inch experiment. All right. Well, we'll see what happens when it comes out. Thanks for coming out. Hi, beards. Who you got? Man, what you think about bringing up a clown, bro? Yeah, come on, man. Let's see here. Let me see some emojis and see who wants to talk. Why are you laughing down there, Rooney B? Rooney Bum D? you laughing at? Let's bring up Moody Bum D. He laughing for some reason. Who is it? Uh, Mooney Bum D. Uh, bring her up. Like, oh, there we go. There we go. Got it. Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What you got for us? Hey, are you guys ready for me? I don't know if you remember me. My name is Moody Bum. If you don't know me, you are missing out. I came on here. We were at 50k market cap. Now we're at over 100k market cap. We've 100x already. I'm gonna tell you about Barney. You know him? You wait, 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 wait. Is my <laughs> math off? Did you say 50k to 100k and we're over 100x? Yeah. So when I came in here, we were a community takeover. The community's taking it from 8k. To 100k. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You threw my, you threw my, my math. It was like my brain. You said 50 to 100. Then you said 100. But so when I came on the show tank, I was 50k, and uh, you guys spread yeah. my butthole right open. And you know what? I appreciated it. I appreciated it. <laughs> but the main thing, guys, I'm here to tell you, there is no meme coin with an IP with a multi-billion-dollar company like Mattel for a backing. The updates have just started coming out. And my favorite part of doing these AMAs is that I came on here, I gave you this gem on a silver platter, you heard my voice. If you pass it by, the FOMO that I will eat up in the future is my favorite part of this, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay it out straight for you. Mattel dropped their first update on Friday. And the thing about this multi-billion dollar corporation is that 
you don't really see that with a meme coin backing. And they they know what they have with Barney. They know the success they had with Barbie. But the real thing here is that it's a huge corporation. And they're branding Barney for everybody. For the dads, for the kids, for the adults. And I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. I can hear you clicking. <laughs> We have come a long way since the last time we were on here. We've had Winslow's Lounge. We've been in Coin Merge. We got Papa on at the Astronaut Lounge. So we've got a lot of legends in the space that are backing this purple dino. And I'm telling you guys, I'll come back at 150. I'll come back at 200. 200 million or 250,000? Both. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I want to hear million. I want to hear million to get me convinced. But that's the thing. 200 million. When do you see a meme coin that has legs like this, that knows that it's this long term? It's for the DGENs in the space. It's saying, you know what? I'm a good guy. I know the crypto space. I'm a master in the market. And I can see the gem that this is. All right. I'm going to ask you what I, what I, 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 I probably asked you this last time. And, you know, because it's an update, we got to keep it at a minute. Yeah. <laughs> what happens when Mattel slaps that big ass cease and desist order on y'all? So here's the thing. We have changed Barney enough that it's already the people's token. They have already gone through a rebranding with Barney when Barney was taken back by the people in 2010 when they took it off of the TV screens. And that was after an 18 year run. So what I can tell you is there is going to be no cease and desist because at the end of the day, parody law protects you. <clears throat> I mean, either way, you'd have to get to hundreds of millions before it would catch the attention. But uh, I wouldn't say 5K to 100K is a massive run at, in, at all. But I'm not a. It is progress. I'm not coming up here you with a million one, market cap, guys. I'm coming up here with a hundred k market cap. It's what you want to be able to get into the good entry and pull your gains. Then that's what this is. It's long term. It's everything you're asking for. It's the whole picture. And that's before the adult movies dropped with Daniel Kaluuya, who did Nope and Get Out. That's dropping this year with the new series. They've just re-released all the Barney television shows on every platform. It's coming, and it's going to be a storm. Wait, like adult movies, like Barney's going like porn now, are you saying? No, a surreal adult films, like oh, oh, No, okay. like Get Out. Like, just, <laughs> like, I'm like, with that? Well, bro, she said adult movies, adult movies. Listen, <laughs> I'm sure know. it exists. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm sure it's out there. <laughs> Do we get crazy a little bit, you know? I'm sure you can see his big uh, purple dick <laughs> and you're going to see it for a lot of years coming. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, shutting this down. Um, <laughs> I'm good on Barney. I'm just, I've never been a real fan. And, uh, you know, you might do some gains, and I wish you the best. 1K in volume. No one's buying it. No one's selling it. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just good on this one. I'll leave it at that. But that's just my opinion. Doesn't mean other people have to think that way. But I'm out. Beards. If it was Barney and all, all uh, you know, rights and all that stuff, kind of like how Mickey got their rights taken, like taken away, and they just let that that expire. I could see something. But until then, until there's some like official Barney partnership, you know, I've seen, I have actually seen coins do go to like two to three million dollar market cap in the last bull market and get cease and desist order. So what happened was the market, the, the crypto space was so popular back then that so many people were watching it that there were cease and desist orders at, you know, two to five million dollar market. I saw many of them. So it's very possible, especially once I start getting on it. But for me, I don't know about Barney. I don't know if I can get Barney. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. All right, we got one to two more people to bring up, and then I'm going to shill a couple coins because I got, I, as promised, you guys rated my tweet. Uh, let's bring up Zuka. Let's see what you got. Yes, 
Ziggy, what's up, Ziggy? What you got for us? Zuka, Earth Zuka, bro. Unmute your mic. Act like you've been on the space. Yo, can you hear me? There we go. <laughs> oh shoot! I didn't. I I I couldn't hear any of you guys. Like, yeah. So I'm up here uh, to show Doomer. The dev is down below. Wild Meat. If you want to request him to speak or bring him up, uh, that'd be awesome. Well, we don't want to, but if you want to use your pitch to bring him up, we can do that. <laughs> okay. Um, well, Doomer is sitting at 81K. The ticker is Doomer on Pulse Chain. And this coin is super bullish because you could say anything about it. You could say it's literally going to zero, and it's still bullish because it's Doomer. If you're a Doomer, this is going to be the best coin for you. That's it. <laughs> there's tons of liquidity locked. Uh, there's oh yeah. By the way, I can't hear B Roots if he's talking. Um, but there's tons of liquidity mm -hmm. locked. Uh, there's 12k liquidity on non mm, and there's 13k liquidity on nine inch, and there's several pairs linked up to this coin as well. So it has support from some of the best community meme coins on Pulse Chain. All right. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you guys are bringing more original memes to Pulse Chain. It's not, I mean, the, obviously the branding's not that original, but, you know, you're not just LARPing. Uh, pretty low volume. Mm, doesn't scream by me to me, personally. Um, but, you know. You could do some gains. It looks like people did get a little bit of gains. But I just, there's nothing that I'm like, wow, this is bullish, you know? I'm like, yeah, it's a meme that's been around for a while and brought the pulse chain. And what was the pre-sale price? I'll give you this idea. You look at all the meme coins on ETH, right? You look like at Bobo and that's me. going parabolic. Can you hear me, Ian? You got Bobo. No, yeah, I can hear okay. you. Hey, Zuka, uh, what was the pre-sale price? Uh, pre sale? I don't think there's a there's no pre sale. They started oh, yeah. at a high market cap, a higher market cap than where it's at right now. Unless I'm not unless Yeah, I, I can't hear wrong. anything that B Roots is saying if he if he's talking. Okay. Can anybody hear me? If you guys can hear me, give me thumbs up and make sure it's just Zuka. If not, I'll just leave and come back. I don't nah, I can I think everyone can hear I don't me. think anyone else can hear me, bro. No one's giving me thumbs up. <laughs> So let me let me get. Can you guys hear B Roots? Give a thumbs up. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's just Zuka. All right. It was just Zuka. All right, man. Um, I'm gonna pass on that one. I just not much of an explanation to give you. I I personally don't like how it was started at a uh ninety thousand to a hundred thousand market cap went up and then dumped. To me, that screams something's going on. Um, either that, or they fucked up on the the liquidity pairing at first, because it literally started at nine zeros in the two five. Unless I do not know how to read charts, but what I'm looking at, it started. Yep, started at what nine zeros in the two five, went up to nine zeros in the four. And literally dumped like a motherfucker. Down to nine zeros and a one four. And then my question would always remain, well, who was dumping from there to there? And that's probably insiders or a team. Now, I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. So, unless, am I looking at the right pair? Is there any other pairs on this? There probably is. He said something about nine inch, but okay. So I I, I uh, could be completely wrong on that based off that because there are there are other pairs. Okay, but that had the most that had the right, most well, liquidity, so you know. All right. Well, let's keep it moving. Go ahead and pick one last one. Let's see here.
them say thee. Man, I don't know. I don't know if seen them all. All right, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and end the show then. No, let's get one more. I feel good. There's a lot of boats going on. <laughs> Parabolic Abion. I haven't seen them before. You see him? What was it again? Parabol- Parabolic Ablion. Oh, there he is. Yo, 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 what up, guys? What up, guys? Thank you for having me on. Thank you for having me on. I'm going to make it quick because I'm at work on my new job. Yo, Moon King, you're a legend. Eon, you're a legend. Yo, Bo, fucking love you guys. Make it quick. Appreciate it, man. I'm gonna make it quick, yo. I'm shooting right now because I'm not working. Man, I'm, risking, you, I'm risking my new job. Yeah, you don't want to get fired from your new job, laptop, bro. But you got Biden's it. laptop. Hunter Biden's laptop. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me, let me let me spit a real quick freestyle for you, real quick. In Twitter Spaces, we got a scene with legends like Ian Moon King, so keen. In sessions called Shell Tank, they reign supreme. Talking about laptop on Solana, the project that beams. They're shilling with passion, the crowd's in a trance. As laptop's potential makes the numbers dance. The community's strong, the vibe's just right. And Shell Tank, they're talking about that crypto flight. Yo, much love, much love. Hey! Respect. Hey! <laughs> that was pretty good. You know what was funny, though? Thank laptop, thank laptop came on early, bro, and they're sitting there. Oh, I didn't, know, I didn't know about all that. I don't know. I just joined. Yo, bro, I'm shaking right now. Thank you for having me on. Yo, look at laptop. Big names in, Parabolic, all the names in, uh, in Trump, MAGA coin, they're all in here. We got a completely docs leader who knows what he's doing, but Jackpot, bro. life changing. Let's get it. Yo, Moon King, God bless you. Ian, God bless you. Thank you for having me on. Thank you, man. Thank you. Man, they yeah, came man, on God earlier. They, they they did came on earlier. Too, like two Damn, minutes. I don't know about all that. That's good. Hey, they, they, they I'm been at work, bro. I live, I'm fully docked myself. I live in New York City. I'm a doorman, so I'm working the door. You know what I mean? It's tight nice. break out here. I'm dead ass shaking. Yo, hey, man, God. one ball God. run would change your life. One ball run could change your life. You ain't ever got one. Hopefully, work. laptop, laptop is it for me, hopefully. Because I yeah. done got rugged and scammed and all that bullshit. God bless. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. Appreciate God you, bro. Bless, Appreciate brother. you. Appreciate you guys. Dude, I was, I'm not going to lie. All, all that clicking that girl was saying, I was looking at profiles, and I was looking at this website again because it is wild, bro, the stuff that was on Hunter Biden's laptop. So it's, you know, and they're going to keep revealing more stuff. The volume's good. The market cap's up. Liquidity's a little bit low, but pretty typical for your Solana meme. Um Chart looks pretty good. It had a nice run up. It's correcting a little. You know, I I like the mission, man. I do. Can this be the one that just goes? I mean, it is it is a meme. It is the whole world knows about this. So I like it. Um, and it's on my watch list. Um same. I actually wanted to I <laughs> I thought about buying it last time because I thought it was going to be something. And then I started going into it. I was like, man, why am I on this website? <laughs> and I didn't want to get tracked anymore. So I was like, man, let me get off this damn thing. And then I did forget about it. Um, there's a few on Solana that I kind of like just personally. They either think it's funny or, you know, think it could have legs. Um, this could be one of them. Uh, but Solana has to turn around and get bullish again. That's the only thing. So once that happens, there's going to be a select few of coins that's going to go, and um, with the run of Solana, it's just that, that's just the facts of life. Like Solana is, is going to be a top ten coin for the whole bull market, in my opinion. 
and the good memes will go with them. Um, but I'm in for another man. Like, like it's up 150 k, 150 percent today. So, like, like you know, there must have been some type of news that came out on Hunter. I'm guessing today. I assume. Do you know? You would know more than I do. No, I don't know. I mean, maybe it just popped, you know? I don't know. Yeah, but something like this is usually led by an event. Let's see here. Hunter Biden. News stories. So, two days ago, key witness and Hunter by a crucial investment is charged by lying. So someone lied to the FBI about Hunter, Hunter Biden. So that's the information you're seeing. So more information is coming out about people lying. Gotcha. Nice. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it, it is a good meme, and <laughs> it's a crazy website, and it's insane that all this stuff was on this dude's website, the president's son, so I don't want to get too political, but check it out for yourself, and yeah, that's all I got on that. Cool. All right, man, I think, uh, sounds like you're up. That's it, man. That's the show. That's the wrap. Let me shill my point because you guys rated my tweet, and I promised I was going to give a little pitch on this. First coin, we got PTGC is a beast of a protocol. It is a meme coin, and since we have the alien theme show today, because we had that great pitch, we had some good updates today, some old school updates, and um, PTGC is a beast of a machine. And this thing is getting ready to send. Check out the chart, guys. Alien is another coin, since we're just doing alien theme. And then Pulse Trailer Park, guys. Pulse Trailer Park is a project that is bringing the entire Pulse Chain community. If you guys don't know, it is the newest, hottest layer one blockchain. And if you guys check out these memes, they're adding new avatars of different characters. And when drama goes down, because if you don't know about Pulse Chain, we've been through a lot in the community. And when drama goes down, it is going to be all played out with these memes, these characters in the Pulse trailer park. And there's some rumors of a potential game coming in the future. So that's all I got, man. Just a short little pitch. Throw it out there. Keep your eyes on the charts. And that's all we got, Moon King. You got anything? I never seen a ass like that. The way you move it, you make my BB go. Boing, boing, boing. Thank mm-hmm. you.